unlike the others I'm a one dear wonder And I don't last long given the chance Again, I'm lucky to be wonder, I'm Scott Not without wonder, she's over there putting her coat up Taking her shoes off um, We've been over to um, Lidl's, it's, it's Wednesday, what's the date? Date is today, the very special day. He's very excited. So Lidl's are releasing tomorrow a brand new set of festival beers. We've been over to Lidl's this evening and we've been able to pick up two, four, six, eight, nine of them. So we thought, well I thought, we'd um, tell you what they are and go there. The first one, look, most of them look like they're from Loch Lomond and 71 Brewing and Stuart Brewing. So most of them out of Scotland. Um, this one I think they've been out before, but I've picked it up anyway. So the first one is the New England IPA with Galaxy Amarillo Hopped. It's a Stuart's Brewing, 5.3% New England IPA. Uh, can't remember the prices, I think they're all between 159 and 179. Um, so that's, I think that's been in there before. The, first, the, the, the next one is uh, a beer that I've definitely not seen in there, uh, in there before. 71 Brew Company, it's their TM, and it's a Tarocco's Modern Life Blood Orange Sour IPA coming in at 4.5% and it's their limited edition series. Look in the artwork, and this one says on the back, a blood orange sour IPA with cryo uh, mosaic hop and fresh, my eyes are terrible, Taroko uh, blood orange giving the pro a perfect balance of fruit tartness and the tropical aromas and flavours of the resinous, hop, resinous hops. So that sounds right, not, not a massive sour fan. But as a sour IPA, we'll give that a go. Next one for Stuart Brewer Company is the Forbidden Fruit. It's a grapefruit pale ale. Coming in at 4.6%. And it says on the back, um, tangy grapefruit flavours dominate this well-hopped pale ale, leading on to flavours of ze uh, pithy zest and citrus all backed up with a refreshing bitterness. So that one sounds really, really good. Next one we've got um, Dry Gate Brewing. Uh, and this is their Coconut Mocha Milk Stout. Coming in there, let me have a check, 6%. Uh, and this says our award-winning Mocha Milk Stout Orinoco has been given a taste of the exotic. The Smilvers Silk Sable Stout Packs. I have a load of bollocks on there. So, um, 6% Coconut milk, Mocha Milk Stout. Drag it brewing. I think we might do a review on that in a minute. Next one is Loch Lomond Brewery. And this is a Southern Summit American Pale Ale. Do you like American Pale Ale? 4% and it's a four, obviously a 440ml. So a lot of them, they've done some decent stuff into um, uh, Lidl's. And this it says iconic beers, iconic beauty, American Pale Ale, Summit and Citra, which are the hops, uh, juicy citrus, fruit aroma, grapefruit flavour, uh, bitter and refreshing finish. So that should be and could be really good. Another one from Loch Lomond, and this is their Zoom time, and it's their Session New England IPA, coming in at 4.5%. And it says, um, Amarillo, Galaxy and Mosaic, all nice hops, passion fruit and peach on the aroma, citrus, fruit and pineapple flavour, with a sweet, juicy finish. And that's coming in at 4.5%. That could be really, really nice. We've got another one from 71 Brewing, which is their Luminous Lights. I've got a feeling this has been out before, and I know Barney's Stout is back in there, and I've got a feeling that my friend from Paul's Beer Reviews is a massive fan of Luminous Lights, 
So I've got a feeling that's back in there. There's their New England double IPA. And it's um, Luminous Lights is an amped up version of Luminous Lights uh, with um, extra hops and malt. This New England double IPA provides a big tropical hit, both on aroma and taste. I don't think I tried this one last time. This is 7.4%. I know my friend, again, Paul from Paul Beer Reviews, I'm certain he's had that um, and um, really liked it. We've got another one from uh, a Williams Brothers Brewing, uh, which is a smooth and creamy stout, and it's March of the Penguins. And this is coming in at... I can't see it. 4.9%. A silky smooth stout. March of the Penguins is brewed with a blend of chocolate malt and roasted barley combined, uh, combined with lovely hop aromas and a spicy fruity finish. That looks really nice. And that's in a uh, 500ml bottle. 500ml bottle. And the last one I picked up which is from Drygate Brewing again, which is Hoppy Poller, which is a white IPA. And this is coming in at 6.7%. Uh, Smooth, silky and refreshing white IPA, hopped with galaxy for juicy fruit aromas, infused with orange peel and coriander for a well, oh, oh, I can't see that. Packed with bits of pieces. Oh, I can't read it. My eyes are knackered. 6.7% dry gate, uh, hoppy pallor. So I've got um, the Stuart Brewing New England IPA, Dorocco's Modern Life, which is for 71 Brewing, Stuart Brewing's Forbidden Fruit. Coco Doco, uh, Coconut Mocha Milk Stout from uh, Drygate. Loch Lomond Breweries, um, Sum, uh, Summer Summit, which is American Pale Ale. Loch Lomond Brewery, Zoom Time. That's one, actually, the can's really enticing me in. Luminous Lights, which has been around for a while, I think. Uh, March of the Penguins from Williams. And Hoppy Pola from Drygate Brewing, which is a white IPA. So head off down to uh, Lidl's tomorrow, or we'll wherever you get there. Uh, they won't be around forever. Go check them out. Tell us what you think of them. We'll do a review of probably this one next, because I wonder all like that. And um, let us know if you've got them, what you think of them, and leave a comment in the comment box. Thumbs up the video, thumbs down the video. We don't give a shit to be fair, it doesn't matter. Find us on Instagram, beer underscore wonder, Facebook beer wonder, and we will see you next time.